So guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I finally, finally transcended Valeria. Richard, what are they even talking about? Oh, Mythic Rift. So, um, this is my build for her. My skill credits just, just made it. So I'm not going to be changing those anytime soon. Uh, it did waste, take me a lot of materials to, um, transcend on her, uh, just because at the same time I was working on Thor tier, tier 4, uh, Scarlet Witch tier 3, which it just got, and also a Magneto tier 4. So it did take me a lot of resources. I am running out. But one thing is I do need to tier 3 Coulson, and I do need to tier 3 Shuri and t Transcend and Ghost Panther. So it's a really long way till I'm satisfied with my um progression right now. I do hope I can finish all of those before Black Friday or before the end of this year. But this video is not to talk about what I am going to do. It's talking about Valeria Richard. So let's check her out. Firstly, these are my stats. Uh, these are my cards. I got five stars on five blue stars on Crush and Wind, which I'm really happy. Uh stats for the cards um these are my swords not the best and then um my emblems are not great they are per uh, currently not too great so first thing uh we're a boss uh, let's try the easiest one first null stage nine we are going in with, where is she, where is she, where is she, Valeria, Valeria lead, uh, Nick Fury giving um, extra damage, and Wasp giving extra HP. Uh, currently, I don't have anyone else supports Valeria. Yeah, I don't think anyone else supports Valeria. Um, I mean, Thing, Thing does, but I don't have his uniform or her hit trust item, so this will do right now. <laughs> And then, yeah, let's just go with that. So, Valeria Richards, the smartest girl alive. Let's see how she does. Her combo is transcendent. Uh, for me, I would do uh, transcendent one, three, five, four. And I'll do a two. Then one, and then, uh, uh, yeah, I skipped it. Nice. Then get stunned, and then one, three. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And then one, three, five, four again. Okay, so, so far, no, the damage is not bad. The damage is genuinely not bad. She's she, she not stunned? Oh, no. Okay. That's strange. So, with the Transcendent skill, her damage is pretty decent, I would say, for a character without a uniform, and, uh, for a character, well, yeah, for a character without a uniform, and instead, also a new character. So, uh, Franklin, I still haven't unlocked him yet, uh, but when I do, I'll see if I can make a video on him, but probably not soon. Her base combo uh, does have quite the amount of AoE, uh, so, and her damage is also not bad. I genuinely hate that face. You can get about two bar, two, three bars of damage in, uh, if you proc. Okay, that one didn't proc actually. And also, okay, that that proc last minute. That proc was bad. Okay, I already messed up the first half of the fight. Like, it's already messed up. The procs weren't proccing. Everything was going wrong. Okay, Tristan three five. Uh, th uh, three five four. See. 
the thing is, you sometimes you know just walks out. So, uh, bosses which are stationary, like more stationary, uh, are usually better, like um Mephisto, or uh, Ultron. Car uh, bosses like Jean Grey, Noel, Gore, really does not benefit her, since her transcendent skill has a lot of damage. Uh, but. Uh, it's the AOE is not good on the transcendent skill. Okay, I'm about to die. Okay, let's hope I don't die. Her healing is really low, though. I think that's what I would see. If we get no stand in the same place and actually successfully proc, we can get about three bars of damage in. So, um, the first half of the fight and the second half of the fight has been doing really bad, because procs were procking, she was dying, everything was just happening, it was just pure chaos. But it's getting a little bit, see, um, you can get even, even four bars of damage, or five, if you successfully proc everything. Oh. Okay. So now, finally, we get to the final phase of no. That took too long. Okay, um, skills. Skills aren't working, nice. Okay, that was just messed up the entire time. Why things not procking? I have no idea. Oh damn, I'm not gonna die. Never mind. So, personally, that was too close. Uh, she can't do much better. I've seen her. I've tested her. She can definitely do much better. Um, it's just that uh, Valeria Richards did not proc a single time just now. Well, we did proc, but the procs were really, really bad just now. So I wouldn't say she's bad, bad of a character. I also wouldn't say she's a good, good of a character. I mean, she's cheap. So um, if you're a new player, uh, I would definitely say pick her up, uh, rank her up, and then play with her if you can. Because she's really an easy character to get. Like a really, really easy character to get. And she is not bad for that, without a uniform. So it doesn't require you to get a uniform like characters, uh, unlike characters like Hulk. Okay, Mephisto should be a bit better. Okay, that one doesn't work at all. Oh, why did it proc on the co-op skill? I have no idea. I want to see, can you see a mini Mephisto? Uh, I can't tell because it was really blurry. I was like, oh, it's a mini uh, Valeria clone. Okay, that one brought really nicely. And under one minute, uh, Mephisto's first phase is defeated. See, uh, if you can actually get the character to stand still, you can uh, put in some really good damage. Okay, 15 health. Your damage is not, it's genuinely not bad. It's actually not bad.
Mephisto's third phase, still with the about four bars of damage, I hope. I think that is. See, when, when he walks away, you do lose a lot of damage. Like, a lot, a lot of damage. Okay, I don't want to die here. He's going to do his face, anyways. Quickly cranking a little bit of damage. And boom. So... See, that's really not bad for a character without a uniform and tier 4 with 10% pierce. That's not bad. And he should be dead, hopefully. He is dead, so... On our run with Mephisto, it's definitely much smoother, much better uh, in some cases. Uh, I won't test her out in too high of bosses because I don't think she would do really great on characters like Gore runs away, Jean Grey runs away, Kang runs away. I'm gonna try Infinity Ultron though. She, uh, she will will have type dis type disadvantage against Infinity Ultron. So I do want to see if she can perform decently, even though she has type disadvantage. And then we're going to do a GBR test. There you are. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Valeria Richards. Oh, damage is not bad. That's that's thirteen bars of damage. See if you okay, he moved away. I was about to say we. Not her damage was really good. At alternate run away. This portal phase. Portal phase. Be, oh, I forgot about the eight bars. She not done the transcendent skill yet. Oh. Second portal phase. Okay, another one. Could have been some damage, hopefully. Optimization mode. I'm gonna do wasp just in case I die. Run. Okay, he should be dead. Nice. One minute and 50 seconds. Stage 9 Ultron, I think. Oh, stage, oh, I just read stage 1 Ultron. I didn't realize that. Okay, so, stay, that was stage 1 Ultron. Oh, uh, you saw how she did. I'm not going to do it again. I don't want to do it again. I don't like Ultron. So, uh, personally, I think, well, well boss-wise... If you are a new player, Valera can do quite decently for you. Uh, now I'm going to try Galactus, because I know she cannot solo Dormammu just yet. Just yet. Uh, and besides, we can actually use better supports if we are going with um, uh, Galactus. Uh, where is... 
Sheree. Cleo, where is Sheree? There she is. So, I'm going to try Sheree. Boom. Let's see this time compared to last time how good she can do. Four, three, two, one. Let's start. So right off the bat, damage cranks up with the transcendent skill. Shreds him entirely. Shreds. So she is not bad, actually. She is actually not bad. So, personally, I'm not going to finish the fight, but as you can see, this fight is going down really, really quickly. Uh, so, yeah, Valera Richards, here's her review. She's pretty decent, I, in my point of view. I really like playing with her. She's really easy to play with. Uh, the procs might be a little bit hard sometimes, but mostly it's pretty straightforward. So, um... Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been a really fun episode with uh, Valeria. So, yeah. See you guys next episode.